I think American schools teach too little about evolution. A lot of the information regarding evolution is taught uncritically. I don't think this is good science education for the students in that district. And apparently neither did his colleagues nor his superintendent. Our job is to teach the adopted curriculum, and that's what we follow. The controversy is about whether a science teacher can actually give students evidence that's critical of Darwin's theory of evolution. to learn a religiously inspired critique of science based on faulty interpretations and non-existent facts. Separation of church and state could crumble under mounting pressure from those who could not verbally share any of this information with my students. The role of a high school teacher is not to be on the cutting edge of research. I have never seen such intolerance in a political issue. The icons of evolution, these are examples uh, of textbook evidences that actually distort the scientific evidence. The controversy in modern times is not between science and religion, it's between two different interpretations of the same scientific evidence. Scientists are supposed to question things. Scientists are supposed to be open to new evidence. And I'm a scientist. I don't know any evidence against evolution. That's okay for a PBS special, but that's not the real world. That's not what's taking place. They won't allow a debate to go on. They try to stop it. And the reason they try to stop it is they don't think they can win it. According to DeHart, teachers and textbooks are not presenting an accurate representation of evolutionary theory. Either some of the current leading research is being left out, so it's dated, or else it's just plain misrepresented.
Because of his desire for students to learn accurate science, DeHart decided to supplement the standard unit on evolution with additional materials. Then someone complained. A citizens group was organized. Groups from outside the community began to lobby the school district, and the dispute became an issue in school board elections. The controversy polarized Burlington. But there is one important and unexpected difference between John Scopes and Roger DeHart. Scopes was a proponent of evolution. DeHart is not. And those who are trying to censor him from teaching too much about evolution are not religious fundamentalists. They are supporters of Darwin's theory. I think American schools teach too little about evolution. I think that a lot of the information regarding evolution is taught uncritically. Does natural selection provide you with more information? They're not asking students to really examine the evidence given and to ask whether or not that's a plausible explanation. It's more or less regurgitate the facts, regurgitate what we've told you. and don't question 